Welcome viewers to the famous Rose Street. We're outside the Abbotsford Bar and Restaurant. A wee shout out to my friend Andrew Taylor. Hope you're doing okay, Andrew. We have seen Andrew in some of the Tenerife videos. We are going to walk all the way down Rose Street. We might go into Princess Street, not 100% sure. Thanks very much if you watched the video yesterday. Um, walking from Haymarket, Marks and Spencers. Plenty of shops, bars and restaurants here. It's quite famous for pub crawls Rose Street, especially if you're on a wee stag or a hen do. But I think a lot of the better bars are up near the Royal Mile area. Um, especially the festivals are a bit busier. But there's some really, really good bars and restaurants down here as well. So let me show you the first one here. This is a lovely place if you like a wee cocktail. The sun's just went away, but when the sun's out, this is an absolute sun trap. It's really popular with younger people as well, because there's a nightclub downstairs. It's Rose Street Garden, eh, Street Food and Gin Garden. Very, very nice inside. I'll we'll see if I can show you a wee bit down here. So, yeah, pretty nice down there. Premier Inn on the left here. That's quite a new Premier Inn. I've stayed in it. It's quite nice. Eh, that's an old Jenner's building, unfortunately. Shut down a wee while ago. I don't know what they're doing with it. Eh, yeah, it's lovely in there. Very nice inside. Let's continue. Now, if you fancy a wee bit of activities when you're coming to Edinburgh, we've got the Roxy Lanes here. They've got uh, bowling, ball games, all sorts going on there. Beer pong, basketball, shuffleboard, pizzas, hot dogs, rock and indie music. I didn't know the music in there. Interesting. Okay, let's continue. So if we just go left here, it'll bring us on to Princess Street. It's quite windy today actually, so I'm trying to avoid the wind. We'll see how we go on. I'm trying to get this pocket Osmo camera working again. It's a bit temperamental. Uh, Milnes is quite a nice bar as well. Being honest with you, most of the bars here in Rose Street are what the classes kind of touristy trap bars. Um, they're a bit more expensive than some of the other places, but they're really nice actually, some of them. And if the sun's out, it's a nice place. To sit and have a drink. Right, let's cross over. We'll continue further down Rose Street. So we go left here. That'll bring us basically down to Princess Street. It's very busy down there, it's getting a lot busier with the festival start. Uh, this is not the busiest area of Edinburgh during the festival. Up near the Royal Mile is the busy area. I'll try and do a video there at one point. That's George Street round the corner. We're going to continue down Rose Street, but... One-way system all the way around here. It's a bit of a nightmare driving there, but I don't recommend hiring a car here if you're coming for the day or the weekend. Just get public transport and see if we can cross over. Oh, wasn't the most sensible idea. Yours, we nearly had a disaster, don't children, any children watching, don't copy that, right, don't do that. Some nice cotton tops there. Um, anybody watch the Germany videos? What a trip that was, the Euros, that, my favourite trip on the channel, that one. Um, another well-known bar here is Robertson's. I know all my viewers from Edinburgh will probably tell me the best bar here, let me know in the comments. Uh, Gail, are you still watching? Give me a comment. I met Gail on Rose Street, it must have been at least two years ago now. Uh, this is one of the wee Premier Inn hubs. I like these wee hubs, they're very modern inside, they've got all the mod cons. The rooms are tiny, um, but I actually really like the hubs. The hubs during the Edinburgh Festival, at uh, the weekends, will be like over £200 a night. I think I was looking at this for two nights, in two nights time, and it was like £170. Same with the travellers across here, prices are crazy at the festival, even for these basic budget hotels. I'm in a travel lodge in the next few nights, and you'll see it on the channel soon. Price is crazy. I booked it last minute, so that's what you expect. That's a Black Rose Tavern. A wee shout out to Mick. I think you like that pub, Mick. Um, they do live music in here sometimes as well, but again, when the sun's out, a wee bit of a sun trap. What's on? Let's see, and on. Okay, 8 pm. Live music. Perfect. Primark, if you're a fancy some shopping, they've got quite a big Primark here. It's on three or four floors. The other side of the building goes on to Princess Street, so there's two entrances. This used to be Jamie Oliver's restaurant, I think it's called Rio now. Uh, it's a steakhouse. There'll be Italians over there as well. 
Rose Street Brewery. There's loads and loads of eating options here. Um, quite a lot of these places don't get the sun that much. Or maybe it's just cloudy just now, I'm not 100% sure. Just the nature of Rose Street. Prima in there. If you're ever here on a very, very hot day, that's the place to go in because the air conditioning in there is very good. The only time I ever go in it is to cool down. I don't really do any shopping now. Seafood fans, there is the Muscle Inn Seafood Restaurant. James and Helen, Helen, you'd like it in here. Check out YouTube channel By The Cub. Excellent channel. You'd have seen the video done with the guys in Salute. I hope you're doing okay, guys. Hope you got the van fixed. The Old 100 pub and dining room, they've got upstairs restaurant here which is very very nice, this is one of my favourite bars here I would say, with a Sunday roast from 12pm, if you watch my recent Liverpool videos, the best Sunday roast I've had in a long time was in the Castle Townhouse on Castle Street, amazing amazing, so there's just so much going on here, left hand side of our restaurant they're called the Boozy Cow which is quite popular. The wee tourist shot over there, Pride of Edinburgh, playing the bagpipes. Five guys, North Face, few chains here as well. Look at this, Castle, bit of culture on the channel. There we go. We're on Frederick Street just now, okay? Just bang in the centre of Edinburgh, really. Up there, George Street. Beyond that, we've got Queen Street. Queen Street Gardens, down there, not too far, we've got Stockbridge. So this is basically just the one street. When we get up here, eh, there's quite a few niche independent shops, including the vintage shop as well. And here we've got a wee antique shop, good ones. We've got another bar, it's quite popular, called Element. I think that might have an upstairs as well, not 100% sure. They do food in here as well. This place has actually um, been here a wee while, according to this, 2004. I'm sure it's changed name, but let me know. Any Edinburgh viewers, let me know. I'm sure that's changed name. Wasn't it always that? Build your own bloody Mary in here. What do you think? Another place that does a Sunday most. They've got live music as well. That's Element. There is a few bars here with live music. I would say there's more up in the Royal Mile area. And even down towards Haymarket, there's a couple as well. Check this place out. Spellbound Butterscotch Beer. We've got a wee bubble tea place next to it as well. Vintage shop. Now, remember, you watched the video yesterday. For this weekend only, there's a vintage pop up in Urban Outfitters. Got the top four. Speak to Nicole. A few high end kind of uh, shoe shops here, Eco and Rogerson. Thanks very much to all the guys who are asking how I'm doing my foot, plantar fasciitis. It's been doing a lot better recently. I don't really know why, but um, it's still not perfect, but a lot better than it's been. So that's good. I've been able to walk without limping. Always a bonus. This isn't open until later on at night. The Shack Retro Bar and Club. It looks like one of these kind of um, like 80s places, doesn't it? it? Looks like that kind of place, that vibe. If you've seen the video done in Liverpool, it's quite funny. The video done in Cavern Street showing you all the bars and the restaurants. And uh, if you missed the story, I've been in. We'd been in all the bars here, but we weren't really interested in getting into Flair's, the Canetti's bar. But I just wanted to go in to see what it was like, because it was one of the ones I hadn't been in. But then they were charging entry, and there's about 20 bars on Matthew Street with live music, all brilliant. So I just like, ah, just leave it, and then they're like, alright, just come in then. So we were in. It was like, uh, I think it was something crazy, like £17 for two drinks. <laughs> it was bad. It was a Kenilworth. So we had one, we left. Back to the Cavern Club. We Indians here, so got everything you need, isn't it? Everything you need. There's a Witherspoons here, the back entrance will lead you on to George Street. There's all the shows getting advertised. Oh, I might go and see Tom Stead. He's a really funny comedian, I think, Tom Stead. I've seen him quite a few times at the festival. So, possibly on my list, that one. Jason Burns, quite well known as well, isn't he? Uh, this lady here, it's really funny, isn't she? I think she's in her 80s now. She's quite often Graham Norton and all the other places. She's really funny. Uh, is it Miriam, isn't it? Yeah, she's funny. My mum and dad have booked tickets to go and see her. So, they'll let me know what she's like. I think they booked a... It's one of these in conversation with the interview uh, people. So, that should be good. 
and that's us back on Castle Street where I showed you yesterday Amber Rose, quite busy just now because there's football on a few other bars down here, we might as well go down here eh? yeah there's the castle If you are new to the channel, then do me a wee favour, it doesn't cost any, my name's Kevin. I do walks in tourist places, just show you what to expect if you're coming here. There's a black cat. And uh, if you don't want to miss any videos, hit the wee subscribe button below, it's absolutely free, it doesn't cost a penny. And uh, you get a wee message when I upload new videos. How exciting can it get? Can't get any better than that, can it? This is a sugarly peg, just coming up here. And we've got the Rose and Crown over here as well, so really nice bars, nice street, Rose Street. Um, probably not the cheapest street in Edinburgh, we are right in the middle of kind of the tourist bit here, but it's it's a pretty nice vibe. Oh, look, this wee place selling wraps here, didn't know this was here. It's called Mr. Rap. looks like Mrs. Rap serving, but it's called Mr. Rap. We Mexican place here as well. Now the place down here reminds me of a wee loop ball when we had lockdown. There was a bar down here, remember you weren't allowed uh, to sit inside and you weren't allowed live music, nothing like that was going on. And one of the first places I came to when everything opened back up uh, was Edinburgh and I was in Rose Street. Dirty Dicks, established 1859, pretty famous uh, bar. It's actually really, really nice inside, it's quite dark and I've got candles. Hi mate, alright. Hey, uh, Happy days, but I'm in Mali, uh, sunshine, beautiful. Right. <laughs> was this sure what he was going to say there? It's <laughs> so that's Dirty Dicks in there. Um, really nice bar inside. You can see how dark it is, all the candles inside. Um, they do food as well, they've got quite a lot of uh, beers. What else, what else can you ask for? You ginger, Cafe Bistro. One of the places that show football is Scots here. Uh, they've got Sky, they show football. Not everywhere shows football on Rose Street, but there's, there's a few. So Scots is one of them as well. And this is what I was saying the view loophole was. They used to have a busker standing there doing live music, and all the punters, including myself, could sit here and have a beer. So you could get some live music when effectively it wasn't allowed. Um, that's a fierce beer. So if you're into a beer, that's a proper beer bar. Five pound frozen strawberry daiquiris, um, all sorts going on there. Cocktails seven fifty. Certain uh, days as well. So that is basically as Rose Street. Right at the end here, we've got the Rose Street Theatre. I used to go to a comedy club down the bottom here, but that's shut down now. I think they're looking for new owners. Or they're going to sell it. They're going to rent it out. Anyway, how exciting! Feels Rose Street in Edinburgh. We ended up down at Dirty Dicks. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Okay. Hope you're enjoying the Edinburgh video, something a wee bit different, just showing you one of the most beautiful cities I think you could visit in the UK.